know, tornadoes or something here in Florida that we're not used to. And so for people, for something like this to happen, it's a huge surprise. And what I want to tell you what's going on right now is you see a show of unity. People from the community, neighbors, have gathered here and are collecting debris that has been thrown all over this farm area um, from the tornado that happened this morning. And it's to show that the people here in this area are coming together and are showing unity for something that is a tragedy. If you take a look over here where this, uh, this the large debris on the road, you see the mobile home was moved from where it was originally all the way into the middle of the road. That's where it's confirmed that two people died and their four grandchildren were hospitalized. Now, we also know that um, the, the folks did not answer their phone early this morning. Uh, a neighbor we spoke to said that his daughter-in-law tried to call all the neighbors in the area, tried to call the two people that were in this home, and uh, they, did not, they did not pick up. But, uh, you know, once again, it's something that uh, people are warning you to, if there is a tornado warning, to make sure you have the information ready for you, available, so you can get to a safe place when there is a tornado warning, because obviously this can happen. That neighbor we spoke to was very emotional because he was close with the two people who died. Steve and Katie were two wonderful neighbors, two of the best people, neighbors you could ever ask for, two of the best people you could ask for. They loved their grandkids. They loved their neighbors. Steve would do anything in the world for anybody, anytime. And uh, they were trying to get this house in their own name, financed and everything. They've been struggling for a year to get their financing. And uh, we're hoping to have it this week. We were all praying for them. And, uh, they're just wonderful people. And the world's not going to be the same without them. He said just today they were supposed to go over to his home to help prepare him for any storms and tornadoes that were supposed to be coming. So for him, this was a very tragic incident, especially knowing that his neighbors were trying to reach out to him to help him avoid a situation that happened to them. Once again, you can see the debris in the middle of the road. That's the mobile home where the two people died and where the four grandchildren were that were in the that are now in the hospital and we spoke to someone with the national weather service he said that the tornado had a speed of 125 miles per hour so this was a pretty violent tornado and if we um you know go around a little bit and just show the area it's debris everywhere i mean there's a refrigerator out here there's uh different items out here in this in this yard in this farm area and it's just all over the place it just kind of shows how terrible this tornado was there's a snapped power pole there's um people all over the place uh just trying to figure out and gather their thoughts and minds on how something like this could happen here in florida